So there was a sofa right here and three big chairs and a table in the middle. Residents in one Santee neighborhood say pricey furniture, including patio sets, have been disappearing from their front decks. As ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen found out, it comes as furniture prices continue to spike. Just off Wood Glen Vista Drive, a cozy neighborhood. Quiet, no problems ever. Suddenly facing a problem in the form of a thief. So I walked up to my mailbox to get my mail, and I turned around and I was like, oh my God, where's my furniture? On Wednesday, Janice A. Baird discovered her front deck nearly empty. Just last week, she had bought this $2,200 patio furniture set with a sofa, table, and chairs. What was left behind? Two plastic chairs and one chair from the set. Disgusted, annoyed. You know, we work hard for the things that we get and just for someone to just take it. A few hours earlier and about a half mile away, a fire pit table vanished from the front of Jill Kinzer's home, along with several potted plants. It like hurt my heart because I just felt like, you know, somebody had been close, like in my house, like your house is like where you feel safe. The thefts come as prices for furniture continue to surge up 9.3% year to year in January. The furniture industry, one of the hardest hit when it comes to supply chain issues. Now I'm just upset because somebody came into our community and, you know, went shopping. It's a shopping spree a bear fears will just keep going. So if they're not caught, they're going to just keep stealing everybody's things. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. Last year, Sandag reported a 10% increase in property crimes in the county. Deputies say they haven't seen a surge in furniture thefts, but they have opened up investigations into both of these incidents.